Hello and welcome back to Euro Football Daily for this week's Euro Transfer Talk, where we round up the biggest news and gossip from across the continent in one handy video. The transfer window is open, so the rumours are swirling, and will any of them come true this month? Only time will tell. As always, tweet me at Mike Atkins or at EFD Squad with the hashtag Transfer Talk if you get wind of any gossip. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with football throughout Europe. Let's go. You have to feel for Ernesto Valverde, because there aren't many managers who would lose their job if they were top of the league, having won La Liga for the last two years. Barcelona are yet to record a win in 2020, and fans have continuously stated their displeasure with the 55-year-old manager, leading the Barca board to look elsewhere. Blaugrana legend Xavi was said to have been asked about becoming the head coach, but rejected the offer. And after him was another Barca great in Ronald Koeman, but he also turned down the job as he wants to see the Netherlands through the Euros this summer. Barcelona then tried with Mauricio Pochettino, but famously the former Espanyol manager said he would never train Barcelona and would prefer to go work on his farm in Argentina than go and work in certain places. That approach also failed and ultimately they hired Kike Setien. The 61-year-old has only coached in Spain apart from a brief stint as national manager for Equatorial Guinea back in 2006. He previously spent two years at Real Betis before this, leading them to their highest finish since 2005 in sixth beating teams like Barca, Real and Atletico Madrid and reaching the Copa del Rey semi-finals before leaving in May. He signed a two-and-a-half-year deal and fans must be delighted as Setien is a devout disciple of Cruyffian football. But what do you think? Is Setien the right man for the Barcelona job? Vote in the poll up above. Now, it looks like Christian Eriksen's time in North London could be over. The Dane has spent the best part of seven years with Spurs and is still in his prime at just 27 years old, but over the past few months has seen a large part of the Tottenham fan base turn against him, with boos even being heard in the home support against Liverpool last weekend. It's no secret that the attacking midfielder isn't having a great season, with his key passes per 90 at a career low on 1.3, but this has still not deterred Inter Milan, who are still interested. Guy Italy report that Inter are awaiting a response after making a contract offer to Christian Eriksen's agent, and will hope to get a positive response from his representatives before approaching Tottenham for talks over a transfer this month. It's believed a fee of €20 million Euros is the minimum Spurs are willing to accept for a player who was worth triple that just a year ago. Inter want to get the soon-to-be 28-year-old in January because they expect competition from Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid and Juventus if his contract runs down completely and he becomes a free agent in the summer. But where do you think Christian Eriksen should be playing football next season? Let us know in the comments below. Back in the summer, every single newspaper reported that Bruno Fernandes was almost certain to join Manchester United. And, unsurprisingly, he didn't. Four months on and yet again we're hearing that the Portuguese may be on his way to Manchester. To be fair to the 25-year-old, he is proving any doubters he had wrong, with 15 goal involvements in as many games. This is a rate of one every 90 minutes, the same as his 18-19 season where he finished on 20 goals and 13 assists. According to the Telegraph, Sporting Lisbon had originally hoped Fernandes would leave the club for 80 million euros, but the failure of any move happening in the summer has resulted in his fee being lowered to about 68 million. It's alleged the attacking midfielder is going to be jetting into Manchester midweek to sign on the dotted line. At the weekend, George Silas, Sporting's manager, was asked if Fernandes would be available for Friday's derby with Benfica. He said, I can't guarantee any of these things because I don't know. Bruno is a huge player and all players like him have a lot of interest from the market. I don't like to think about it, but I'll be thinking of alternatives in case Bruno leaves. I hope it doesn't happen, but we have to start thinking about that. Last week we mentioned Jerome Berteng's possible move to Arsenal and it seems like his agent is working overtime as he's now been linked to AC Milan. The Serie A club are looking for a central defender and are close to signing Simon Kier from Sevilla, but still have ambitions to add another centre-back to their squad. Sky in Germany have claimed the Rossoneri are ready to challenge Arsenal for the signing of the Bayern Munich defender. The 31-year-old who is predominantly a centre-back but can also play at full-back wants to leave the Bundesliga club this winter. Bayern would be ready to let him leave this month for approximately 15 million euros. However, they do not have many fit defenders with Luca Hernandez expected to return from injury much later than first presumed. After weeks of speculation over a move to the Premier League, it's been revealed that Donny van der Beek will not be leaving Ajax. Well, at least not this month. The midfielder has been identified by Man United and Real Madrid as someone who can solve their problems in the middle of the park, with van der Beek's agent Guido Alves also believed to have held talks with United officials over a potential move to the PL. But the player himself has dispelled any rumours linking him with a departure from his homeland during this transfer window. Speaking during Ajax's mid-season training camp in Qatar, he said he is staying at the club. I have said it before and I will say it again, I will remain at Ajax this season, and maybe next season as well. He went on to say, these reports about Real Madrid or Manchester United are a good sign, but it is not important now. 
I've said I will stay at Ajax and I will do so 100%. Is this the right move though by Donny van der Beek? Let us know down below. But on the topic of Manchester United, we might as well look at one youngster who could be on his way out. Tahith Chong has been in Manchester since he was 16 years old and has been highly rated by their academy for some time. But now 20 years old and seeing 18 year old Mason Greenwood receive more game time than himself, 393 minutes more to be exact, rumours of a move elsewhere has seen the Dutchman move very close to following the footsteps of another United Academy kid who wasn't receiving minutes, Paul Pogba. The winger has made just 9 appearances so far this season and with his contract expiring in the summer, Italian champions Juventus are lining up the forward on a free transfer. Tuto Sport claim he will be offered £35,000 a week and the £2 million signing on bonus to quit United for Juve. However, it is understood the Red Devils have not given up on persuading him to stay and sign a new 5 year deal. Chong and his representatives are due to sit down with United in the next 2 weeks to thrash out terms. And that's all for Euro Transfer Talk this week. Let us know what you make of the rumours down in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.